I guess now to deal with the biomass. I think there's a better way to travel there, but I hope you don't mind me to just <laughs> fly through space. This is just so cool in general. That's it. <laughs> I do wonder though, because there's a mention that it's like an open world now. We can easily dismiss the fact that we have to go there and go to the other sides. Maybe to those spaceships? Like, what is it even? I noticed these when we first arrived in this timeline. Some kind of massive processing structure. It's capturing Saturn's atmosphere. Correct. They're known as autonomous atmospheric harvesters. They process hydrogen and helium from Saturn, inject it into containers, and then jettison those containers outward for retrieval. The minimal contact reduces the risk of biomass infection. It's like the Kronos 5000 or something. Sorry. I mean, it, it might be what our job would have turned into. It's a bit more impressive than extracting helium from ice cubes like we did, but it's basically where our work was headed. You're approaching the biomass research facility. This is where the outbreak originated. We're sure there's some contained biomass on hand for Jack to retrieve. Logs indicate one or two containers should still be in storage. However, reaching them may be difficult due to the entire facility being under lockdown. The tram entrance will undoubtedly be your only way in. Acknowledged. The facility appears to be in fairly poor condition, but there is at least some power flow. Due to the generator being restored, Unfortunately, I'm still unable to access any systems further into the facility. Power flow stops at the entry terminal. It appears that the systems are outright disconnected, including the physical entry bridge. Jack, you'll need to reconnect those systems to gain entry to the facility. Copy that. The infection that originated, huh? There's a room jutting into this cave. Could it be part of the biomass containment area? Negative. The room you're seeing is part of the facility's integrity monitoring system, responsible for tracking any changes in the asteroid structure during excavation. For safety reasons, biomass containment is located much deeper in the facility. What's going on here? This device looks vaguely similar to the cranes we saw in the transit hub. Good eye, Jack. That's because it's an early version of the stasis field technology used by those cranes, as well as our cargo drones and many other systems. As you can imagine, the ability to manipulate objects without direct contact has significant advantages when dealing with the biomass. Yes, advantages we continue to witness firsthand through Jack's grip projector. Agreed. It seems someone was emphatic about maintaining the lockdown. That console would have controlled the bridge leading into the main facility. I assumed. I'm not seeing any backup controls in the blueprints, unfortunately. It's possible the cave contains systems not listed in the schematics. It may be worth a quick investigation. And before just takes swarm us. Welcome to horror! This bridge is currently disconnected, as part of the lockdown procedures. Correct. The doors won't open until both sides of the bridge are fully extended. Did they get everyone out? According to these logs... No. Not everyone got out. Re-establishing main generator connection. Be advised, Class 3 power fields will become active. Dormancy will be nullified. Jack, power will soon be returning to the immediate area, as well as the rest of the research facility. Just keep in mind that you'll also be awakening any dormant biomass within. That's a good point. By restoring power, we're undoing something that was put in place as a die-hard safety precaution. 
We're certain this is the only place we're going to find the contained biomass. Assuming these fragmented station logs are correct? Yes. Well, that's reassuring. Finalizing connection. Connection established. Now receiving power readings throughout the facility. Jack, once you have the bridge fully extended, you should be able to access the facility proper. Though, I suspect some areas may have additional security requirements. Laura, uh, um, the research director would have done everything she could to contain the outbreak. But there is no containing it. This was an eventuality. It's fortunate that your disagreement over priorities led you to be elsewhere when the outbreak occurred. It's only fortunate if I'm right. I'm just only making sure nothing surrounds me suddenly. I don't like those sound effects. These are auxiliary controls for the extension bridges. Correct. They should allow you to extend the bridge now that the power is restored. I'm heading back to the entry terminal. Dr. Harlan, if these power readings are accurate, our suspicions appear confirmed. What's that now? What suspicions? Educated guess, rather. Which is different how? The ticks aren't the only form of biomass. They'll have been evolving since your time. Got that. Right, so, what's this one do? Open doors? Quite the opposite, in fact. It's best if you see for yourself. No. No, 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 no. I only accepted ticks. I don't need more. I'm crossing into the main facility now. Copy that, Jack. Yeah, thanks for the save point. There is much darker shade of red that I remember. <laughs> I don't know why. Biomass has taken hold here. Given that it got this far, the rest of the facility will likely be much worse. Will the fabricators still be operational? Yes, at least enough that Jack should be able to reboot without issue. In the security control room, I found a casualty. According to logs, Adler Reyes. He must have been trying to keep the scanners running to prevent the biomass from leaving the facility. But if someone found the scan, they would have had to remain behind. Unfortunately, even the scanning room itself became contaminated. You think that's how it spread to the rest of the station? Most likely. With background contamination, the system would have had a difficult time producing accurate results. Jack, you are now entering the facility's lobby. Biomass containment is located through the leftmost door. Leftmost. But it's locked. Hmm. That's an awfully long corridor for no reason. This area appears to be locked down. That's the test way. We should focus on reaching the containment area. Electrical systems here are clearly suffering from extreme damage. The lobby's directory is effectively useless. Good thing we've got someone who knows their way around. Oh. Always happy to be of assistance, Captain. I was actually talking about Dr. Harlan. But thanks. 
This must be the evolved biomass form Dr. Harlan mentioned. It detects my presence, much like the other specimens encountered thus far. We classify it as a reticulated bee biomass organism, but most people just call them webs. Aside from their namesake membrane, webs can also be recognized by an additional nodule. It should be quite distinct. Okay, I guess it's not the worst. <laughs> I think we just can't go... Oh, and Jack, that distinct nodule I mentioned? Think of it as a sensor. If it detects you, it will stimulate the web's expansion reflex. Just something to keep in mind as you explore the station. Yeah, so we can't go, like, very fast. I see the other one and that's probably gonna block me. Another one of the web forms. I still have no way to bypass. Then try the labs. The research they are doing there might prove useful. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. So still, the ticks are the worst. This is, I guess, in the middle. <laughs> There's some kind of added security here. Dr. Everett Harlan reporting. Authorized laboratory access. Voice activated authorization. That's a smart security feature. Thank you. And you're welcome. Yeah, I was so confused where to go. What sort of research were they doing here? The director was convinced the cure was impractical. So she poured everything into containment technology. Did she have any luck? When I left, she had everyone working on miniaturizing the insulation cloaking from our containment unit. I'm not sure how far they got. Is this a control interface? That's right, for the robotic arm in the adjoining chamber. Use the holographic controls to adjust each part of the articulation. My not sure what is it. What? Is this some type of emitter? Hmm. It looks like a functional prototype. I knew she... They were close, but I, I didn't know they had moved into practical testing. The basic concept was to surround the biomass with a cloak of electromagnetic insulation, preventing energy from reaching it. Kind of like using a blanket to smother a flame. Indeed. The idea was to build these cloak emitters as a uh, reactive defense against the biomass to contain it. That could have a wide array of tactical applications. It's a stall at best, not a solution. I wish she could have seen that. I think that's to destroy this, right? Such versatile technology. And it still wasn't enough. Interesting. But I need like a mobile version. <laughs> Biomass at the exit neutralized. It's possible I failed to foresee some of the clock emitters eventual implications. Sounds like your research director was on the right track. Oh fucking car. Jesus Christ, dude. She never gave up. I could hardly ever pull her away from her work. <laughs> 